Your Excellency, Mrs. Senator Oluremi Tinubu, the First Lady of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and the mother of the nation, and I dare say the grandmother, as some of you will have said. Um, in, in the church, we say that you are the mama that pampers us. We are indeed grateful to you for being present in this particular program. Your Excellencies, the governors here present, Your Eminence, Alaji Saad Abubaka, the Sultan of Sokoto, the Royal Fathers here present, the Chair of EFCC, Mr. Ola Olukoyede, the Nigerian youth here present in this hall, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I bring you greetings from the national headquarters of the Christian Association of Nigeria, CAN, and warmly felicitate with the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, on the occasion of this timely national summit on cyber crimes. As we gather here today to address the menace of cyber crimes, I commend the EFCC for its unrelenting efforts geared towards combating financial crimes and protecting Nigeria's integrity, both at home and abroad. Cyber crimes pose significant threat to our national security, economy, and the very fabric of our social lives. And I feel very much encouraged by the actions and the efforts of the present chairman of EFCC, our dear brother. A number of times I had conversations with him. I feel encouraged that we have an institution that is well positioned to address very serious crimes that set our nation back. As a matter of fact, in him I see a genuine committed Nigerian who is committed to doing great works that will turn around the fortunes of this nation. And even this morning, my conversation with him, he reassured us that he does not experience any kind of executive interference in his work. And that again cleared away our fears that he may probably not have free hands to run the organization. But now that you have the free hands, we know that you'll do even much more. We are proud of you and we pray that you will succeed in your fight against financial crimes. The Christian community recognizes the importance of ethical conduct and responsible behavior in all spheres of life, including the vast digital space in which we all operate. We emphasize the need for individuals to uphold moral values, including integrity and transparency at all times. In this regard, the Christian Association of Nigeria continues to urge religious leaders to give strong moral leadership in combating this crime by showing examples of contentment, honesty, transparency, and accountability in their private and public, public lives. This national summit is a crucial step towards equipping stakeholders with knowledge and strategies needed to combat cyber crimes. Consequently, I urge participants to engage actively, share expertise, and foster collaborations that will further strengthen Nigeria's cyber security and by extension, our national security. As a people of faith, we commit to supporting initiatives that promote those timeless values as honesty, transparency, accountability, compassion, contentment, and dignity, and to collaborating with the agencies and knowledgeable individuals in this battle. 
so that Nigerians will enjoy safety and security that fosters sustainable development. The fight against cybercrime is a battle that must be won and must be won in record time. I am therefore hopeful that this summit will grant Nigeria a major breakthrough in the fight against cybercrime so that all of us will feel safe and will also feel proud that we are Nigerians and we are capable of taking our country to the next progressive level. I'd like to, at this time, thank again the First Lady for being present and for showing motherly care to the young people. Your presence here reassures the young people in this hall that they have it tomorrow. And from the Christian community, we continue to pray for the young people. We continue to engage the young people and we will continue to give you support because if we say that young people should not engage in crime, then we must give them alternatives. And I'm happy that these alternatives are coming in this particular summit. And we pray that our young people will embrace these uh, alternatives that are being presented so that they will be more hardworking and the image of Nigeria will continue to improve. On this note, I pray for the success of this summit and I pray that God will continue to bless our country, Nigeria, and grant us prosperity in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you for your kind attention.